Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing a recipe of a spicy crab roast which is done on the tawa or girdle. It's a very tasty recipe and very quick to do, easy recipe. So let's start, uh, start making it. I got some fresh crabs, they are still alive. So I am just playing with them, waiting for them to calm down so I can get them cleaned. It's a very tricky process to get them clean while they are still alive. So I'm just waiting for a little while. Let's see. This is the picture of a crab. I'll show you as we go on. So this is how it looks. We have a, a front legs which is very sharp with the movable finger and then the hind legs which is used for digging and moving and then we have three pairs of legs in between them. So I am removing the front legs. Now I am removing the legs in between then comes the last one which is used for digging and moving. So this is how it looks. The shell is called the carapace. We have to remove it to get the edible part. So this is how it is removed and the brown part you see is the lungs which is the filtering uh, area or the gills. So we need to remove it that contains all the toxic materials and in between the two uh, edible parts we have some dirt accumulated so we need to remove it. At the back you see this conical part. This is a female crab. Male crab will have the triangular thing like that. So this is a female crab. So now you can see they are still alive. I am trying to remove it while they are alive. So I'm removing the front legs with the claws. Now I'm re removing the other legs. So this is just I'm showing two, three so that you know how to clean that. These are blue crabs. This is the carapace. That's the shell. And this is the back of the crab with the mouth part. That is the mouth part. Yes, that one. And again this conical part is, has to be removed. So this is also a female crab. So it's a, bi a bit hard to remove that. So I'm just using a knife to loosen it up. then I can remove it with hand and once we remove it we need to rinse it with cold water so it removes all the dirt you can see the lung part that is brownish in color this is the carapace with all the dirt we throw it out So I am removing the lungs now or the gills. This filters all the dirt so it has to be removed that is not edible. So you can see the liquid dirt in between the two edible parts so we will remove them with hand. It's a very messy process yes. 
many don't like it but if you need to eat the delicacy you have to do all this so I'm just rinsing all that to clean it then removing the back part this is again a female one so I'm just removing that so we'll repeat the process for all the crabs crab cleaning is very easy once you get the heck of it you can do within minutes all the parts are a delicacy if you love lobsters definitely you will love this this is a poor man's lobster I feel the, uh, crab meat tastier than lobster so I don't know how many of you feel like that you can comment I just got about seven to eight of them so I need to clean all of them I was waiting for a long time for them to calm down to die but they took a very very long time finally I called my husband to do the cleaning and removing because I was uh, scared to do it when they were still alive So you can see now we've got this legs with the claws the front legs I am just making it into two this is how it is done so then it is easier while eating you can also cook the whole crab as it is some do like that you can make curries you can make soups you can dry roast, you can grill, whatever way you can cook it, it is still delicacy. So I'm just trying to remove the legs while still alive. Yes, I can remove the hind legs but the claws I'm not able to do it. I'm just finally calling my husband to do them. It's almost four hours now and I see them still alive. So I've just been playing around with them. So you can see the claws. The one I'm holding is the front leg with the claws, the movable finger then the carapace that is the shell the biggest shell then these are the hind legs which are used for digging and walking so one pair of front legs with claws one pair of hind legs used for digging and walking and three pairs of legs they are also helping in the walking this is the front part with the mouth and the eyes that is the parts of the cab so now I have cleaned my husband helped them I have washed them with water and turmeric so that is the yellow color so this is how it looks these are the claws these are the legs hind legs and these are the main part front and back so finally cleaned now I have the ingredients for them for marination I have salt garam masala Degi mirch, 
tomatoes, ginger garlic paste, slipped uh, green chilies, lemon, turmeric powder, coriander powder and chili powder. This deghi mich is also called Kashmiri chilies to give the color. So I am adding turmeric now. This is the Kashmiri chilli powder to give a red color. This is the garam masala. Coriander powder. Salt. This is two tablespoons of green red chili powder. The measurements quantity I'll give it in the description. Finally I'm uh, taking the juice of one lemon. It gives a nice flavor and taste. Here I have added almost all the ingredients. I just, just add some more ginger garlic paste. These are the only ingredients. So now I'll mix them. We can do this with hand. That is the best way to do. So that all the parts get some of the masalas so, with the spoon or a fork it is difficult and is the best equipment so nicely mix it and keep it to rest at least for one hour you can keep it for more hours but one hour at least you need to keep so I'll just use a little bit of water about a spoon of water just to keep them juicy so that they don't get dried up so here I have a girdle or tawa I have added some coconut oil coconut oil gives a good flavor and taste my husband loves everything done with coconut oil so this is a dry roast, not uh, needing much of oil. I added just about 2 teaspoons of oil and spread it on the girdle. This is a big girdle, about 14 inches girdle. So that is good for roasting all these crabs. After the girdle is heated, I am adding little bit of curry leaves which is giving a good flavor and taste. You can use plenty of them, I like it. Then we can add the marinated crabs onto it. You can keep the girdle on medium high and cook it for 10 minutes on one side and then you can flip it over and 10 minutes on the other side. So crab is, this crab is cooked very fast. You don't need a long time for cooking crab. If you want a little bit juicy you can add some water to it also but I like it dry. 
In my home, they just sit and eat and enjoy them. You can also have it with rice or chapati or just bread slices. Also add the tomatoes and the green chillies. This is just we in our home we eat it like a snack. So that is why I am doing plenty of it. Large quantity. My husband and I like to eat them just sitting in one a sitting. So you can see them nicely sizzling now. So I am adding all the leftover masala. The liquid part. You can even just sprinkle some water in onto it. So that it doesn't become very dry. You can keep sautéing it, keep moving it. And after 10 minutes you just flip it over. I'm getting a very nice aroma. It is a very tasty recipe and all the seafood lovers they will love it. And it's very quick to do and easy. Just the cleaning of the crab takes time. So I'm adding a few coriander leaves. When it is finally done, just before removing. This is an Indian way of cooking, Indian masalas. So it's almost done now. I'm just waiting 5 minutes and about to remove them. They are all nicely cooked, juicy and nicely roasted. This method is better than grilling it because this involves a little bit of oil and water so the cakes or the flesh remains juicy and tasty. So it's finally done. You can see them sizzling, tempting. Yes, I'm finally removing it in a serving dish. You can serve them as it is, as a snack, or you can have them with dinner or lunch with rice or chapatis or bread or with some soup any way you can eat it and enjoy you can make it on holidays with friends and family we make it often in our house this is the most common recipe sometimes we make it as a curry or a soup with onions and some other masalas but this is a very common one we always do this and enjoy them you can see them it is not very much dried still juicy so that is the form you should take it then you find the taste of the masala and the gravy also so finally the gravy is left. I am going to remove it with a ladle. This is the tastiest part of the recipe. So never leave them. You can add them to your rice or bread or chapati. They are very very tasty. So I like this part the most. You can try this recipe. Tell me how did you find it. 
try it in your homes when you are having friends families or a party so i'm using this leftover masala to have some rice or bread on it i'm going to mix it with some rice and eat it so thank you for all for watching hope you like it and please do try and comment thank you